Hey you guys, what's up? It's your girl Miss Champagne B and I'm back with another episode of What the Bleep Did I Buy? Where I buy things randomly online and tell you about them and um, you guys are just like, yay! If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. These are pretty quick, not like my usual long ones. So we're going to get you in and out. Let's see what I purchased on this day. I mean, it's not this day. You guys get it. Let, let's see what the bleep did I buy. Stave and Thief Society Moonshine University. But you see they have like a, a cool little symbol. They're like, oh my gosh, Miss Champagne B is in the Illuminati. I wish. They probably get paid mucho dollars. You, you cannot, you never hear about broke people being in Illuminati. I'm, I'm just kidding. It's jokes, it's jokes. Someone out there is like, oh my God. Ooh, a black little box. On the front, it says Stave and Thief Society. Oh, <laughs> this is crazy. Look what I got. I got my pins. Oh man, there's a pin and a coin. Look at that! Oh, that's pretty dope. It says Executive Bourbon Steward. If you got questions about bourbon, I might be able to help you. I, all, I'm still tasting all the multiple brands. I'm still learning all the different brands. But the process, the process, like if you want to know what makes a Kentucky straight bourbon, um, which means it needs to be aged for at least two years. If it's aged less than four years, um, it needs to have an age statement on it. The Kentucky Straight Bourbon that you see, it does not have a age statement on it. Um, and that means that because it does not have an age statement on it, that it's aged at least four years. I just know a little something. I'm just saying. Give me a pin. Look at that. Is, is held by Lush Like Productions, a um, a whiskey class. And they basically educated you in depth regarding the whiskey program. So for a couple weeks, you have um, courses on whiskey production, difference between a whiskey and a bourbon or scotches. Um, very, very in depth, very good. And then in the end, you took a test and you also did a group project. Now, I personally felt like we got shafted a little bit on the project because I felt like there were some things we did address, but you know, I mean, we passed. We... And then you met some people out of it, which wasn't too bad. So um, after I took my test, you wait like a couple weeks and then you get this. You also get like, they give you money to buy some of the liquors that we taste. You do a tasting console. Really informative, like I truly learned from it. So I do recommend that if you're a bartender um, who wants to become bar, or if you're a bartender who wants to be better, or if you're a home bartender and you're really interested in things like this, um, I do recommend taking courses because you don't know what you don't know. And to me, that was just, it was really cool to learn. It was really cool. Take a moment, check it out. My name is Miss Champagne B. Thank you for watching and I'm out.